these are the questions that I've sent you out by email today. Uh, there's loads of questions there. I just want you to see how they work when I have given you the solutions. Um, so even if, yeah, like there's a hypothesis testing one. So owner of a grove wants information, decides to take a random sample. He finds, you know, out of a sample, 12 of the 150 are diseased. Uh, determine if, in fact, the proportion of the diseased trees in the grove is 10%. So it's like there's a claim there, kind of. So you could do a hypothesis test on that. You know, here's another hypothesis test. So test the superintendent's claim. So when you do that, let's say we look at example three. I'll have, I've sent you on this PowerPoint and you know I'm just going to fly through it example one example two cover example three so I've done this out as many ways as possible you know uh, three ways to do the maths so there's a claim and the conclusion will remain the same because it's a hypothesis test uh, so it's just the maths in the middle as, as I was explaining to you with a hypothesis test, you have your HO and your H1, so your null and your alternative hypothesis. You do some maths in the middle and then you have your conclusion. The maths in the middle, I have done out three ways. So, you have your null and alternative hypothesis. Here is the maths to do with a confidence interval. And there's your conclusion. Let's say you wanted to do it by a z-score. Here is your same beginning. This is if you want to do it by a z-score. Okay. And then this is the maths that you would use if you wanted to do a p-value. Do not worry about a p-value yet. I haven't put up a video on that yet. So I want to just, you know, if you choose to do it by a confidence interval, there's your solution for the confidence interval. If you choose to do it by a z-score, there's your z-score. Your introduction and your conclusion will remain the same. So your h-o and your h-1 and your conclusion remain the same. It's just the maths in the middle that will change. As I said, do not bother looking at the p-values solution. I will show you that. Um, and then it goes on to the next example and it tells you, oh, there's three ways to do this because that must be a hypothesis test as well. I hope that explains how to use the PowerPoints and, you know, just ask, ask, send on questions and I'll, I'll do videos of, of the solutions if you want how, how to work them out.